Hi you guys, my name is Lottie and welcome to my channel. I will be showing you guys today three easy beginner one light studio setups. We're going to do Rembrandt lighting, split lighting, and also clamshell lighting. Feel free to let me know in the comments your favorite lighting technique from today. Let's go ahead and get started. So for our Rembrandt lighting, um, we will be having our light off to a 45 degree angle as you see here we have our model we're going to call her sarah for today and let's go ahead and get started so with the rembrandt lighting though um, one thing you should know is that that's going to bring like a little triangle patch of light underneath the eye so let's go ahead and shoot it all right so let's go ahead and oh yeah before i get started too um let's see for my settings for today, the settings I'm gonna have is gonna be one over 200, the aperture at 7.1, and my ISO at one over 25. Um, also, just a quick note, the first thing you wanna do when you are shooting the studio is to cut all the ambient light. So let me just make sure that that is happening right now. So everything should be black. Okay, perfect, so we do have a plain black image. Now I'm gonna turn on my light. So my light is at one over 16th power. Settings are still the same. All right. So that's perfect. I'll show you guys one more, just closer up so you can see the detail. So that is one light set up and the Rembrandt lighting, very, very simple to achieve. So now we're gonna move on to the split lighting. So let's go ahead and move our light placement. So on this one, we're gonna go directly to the side of the model. I'll go ahead and drop this. Let's go ahead and check this out. So with the split lighting, um, just as it sounds, it's pretty much going to have light only falling on one side of the face. So since the light is faced this way, the light will fall on this side of the face and this side should be in the shadow. So let's see. All right, there you have it, your split lighting. Um, one thing with split lighting, which is kind of cool, is that um, you can use a reflector or like a white foam board, anything like that, in order to bounce light on the opposite side of the face. So if we wanted to bring in more light on the other side of the face, I just have like some white foam. I got this from Dollar Tree or 125 Tree now, you know. Um, so what I want to do is I want to set it up and I'm going to show you one last time. This is without it. And then, then we're going to feel it. And there you have it. The light just bounces back on the face. All right. So the last lighting setup that I said I was going to show you guys is going to be clamshell lighting. This is by far my favorite. Um, I feel like it's great for beauty, for portraits and things like that. Let's go ahead and move our light placement to set that up. For this one, we will be using the Westcott Eye Liner or Eye Lighter. Can't really remember if it's called lighter or liner. Um, but if you don't have one of those, you can always use a regular reflector or even white foam. So, I'm going to place our highlighter. I 
And you don't want your model too far away, but you don't want them too close to it. Um, they say like you're supposed to be like at arm's distance from this reflector. And then with our light, we want to go ahead and position this back in front. Okay, so with this lighting technique, you should be able to see two lights in the eyes. It's gonna be that curved um, light from this reflector, and then there will be this light coming from the top. So it's gonna get like the, the clam technique. So let's see if I have our lights placed correctly. Again, we are using the same setting. Again, I'm gonna get in real close so you guys can see. All right, so there you have it. Your three easy one light setup for the studio. Let me know again which ones you feel like is the easiest or is the best for you and your photography needs. If you like this video and you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to this channel and we will definitely be putting out more videos for you. This is our first real tutorial video. We're getting it done. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Three easy, one light studio setups and we'll see you next time. Peace.